one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's going to take me forever to count every single animal that we have here at Auckland Zoo. Kia ora, my name is Kat and I do work here at Auckland Zoo and we're just so excited to have you come join the team today as one of our trainee keepers. Now it does take a lot of money, a lot of work to become a keeper at Auckland Zoo but we're excited to actually see if you could pass the first challenge by working today with our primate team and as you can see working on the primate team involves looking after some of our favourite animals such as the Borneo orangutan, the Siaman gibbons, our tamarins, as well as our monkeys. Now today we'll just be focusing on one of these species. So we're going to hand it over to Lizzie who's going to let you know what animal you'll be working with today. Kia ora trainee keepers, called Lizzie Toku Ingoa. My name's Lizzie. Now with today's trainee keeper tasks, you are going to be learning all about a very special animal here at Auckland Zoo, the black-handed spider monkeys. Now you might have seen our troop of spider monkeys the last time you came to visit the zoo. But before you continue with your adventure and your challenging tasks, let's learn together how to say spider monkey in te reo Māori. Follow along with me. Maki hunga were were. Ma ki hunga were were. Maki Punga Were Were. Maki translates to monkey and Punga Were Were translates to spider. So if you put those two together, you get spider monkey. How did you go? Did you give it a try? Maybe you can go and teach someone else how to say spider monkey in Te Reo Māori now. All right, back over to you, Kat. We hope you are as excited as we are to work with the Maki Punga Wera Wera, our black-handed spider monkeys. They are definitely a highlight of our day. Now, in order to actually be able to look after this amazing species, we will need to know more about them, like what they eat, where they might live, what adaptations they also have. Now, today I'm going to have your supervisors, Patrick and PJ, go through all the things that you need to do in order to pass your training keeper. So for the first task, we're going to be learning more about this amazing animal. So you'll be working with Patrick to find out a little bit more about them in order to know what they need so that we can take proper care of them. I will touch base with you at the end of the day to make sure that I can give you the tick of approval to say that you are one of our trainee keepers for the spider monkeys. So enjoy, have fun, make sure you have your nut cutting us switched on, listening to Patrick and PJ as they talk you through the five tasks that you will have to complete today to become a trainee keeper. My name is Patrick and today we're going to learn about the black-handed spider monkey. There are different types of spider monkeys but they all come from different areas across South and Central America, mostly found in the upper canopies and rainforest areas. At Auckland Zoo, we have black-handed spider monkeys. They have very cool adaptations to help them succeed in their habitat and in the wild. At Auckland Zoo, we have a group of black-handed spider monkeys. Does anyone know what a group of spider monkeys are called? If you guess truth, you're exactly right. Well done. In the wild, the benefits of having a troop of up to 30 allows them to separate into smaller groups to forage for food during the day to bring back later in a safe way. Their wild diet consists of 90% fruits and seeds, as well as leaves, flowers and nuts. They can and will hunt insects, birds, their eggs, lizards and even some small mammals. At Auckland Zoo, they mainly get fruits and vegetables, even some boiled eggs as a protein substitute. Doesn't that sound good? I'm sure you guys have already figured out that spider monkeys are really spiders. But the reason why they're called that is because they have those really long legs and arms that kind of look like a spider when they're up in the tree. Thanks for joining us today here at Auckland Zoo to learn about one of the amazing primates we have at our zoo. Make sure you come and say kia ora to our spider monkey troop next time you visit. Kia ora, ko PJ Toku Ingoa. Kapai trainee keepers, you've just completed the first task of your day. And thanks Patrick for sharing some of your knowledge around Maki Puna Wedewede. It's a lot of information to learn and wonder about. Now it's really hard to look after something that we don't fully understand, so research is a really vital part of being a zookeeper. 
Now, trainee keepers, it's time to get your creative hats on for your second task while we get to know some of the spider monkey's important body parts. Everyone give the screen two thumbs up. This is something a spider monkey can't do. As one of their amazing adaptations, instead of having thumbs, they have four really long fingers. Okay, if they have the thumbs, they might get stuck on trees or vines as they're swinging through those amazing canopies. Karawe! Awesome job! The primate keepers at Auckland Zoo would love to see some of your spider monkey drawings, so feel free to share using some of these hashtags. But trainee keepers, your mahi is only just beginning. We can't go home until the spider monkey troop has a safe, secure habitat to call home for themselves. By looking at our spider monkey habitat here at the zoo, we can understand a bit about what life might be like for them in the wild. Keep that zookeeper creativity flowing and use your growing knowledge to design a spider monkey habitat of your own. Feel free to tune into some of our live cams for inspiration. Wow, that's the first three tasks down. Well done on getting this far through your training so far. He tino pai to mahi. As we know, living a great life is about so much more than just surviving or having a home to live in. Most animals need things like objects, activities, or even smells to keep their brains stimulated. These things are what we call behavioral enrichment. Take a look at our enrichment program and have a go at inventing some of your own enrichment items for our spider monkeys. Behavioral enrichment is a principle that gives animals the opportunity to display their species-specific behaviors. At the zoo, animals have the choice to interact with their habitat and enrichment. Zookeepers create interesting items for the animals to interact with. This is to make sure they're providing the optimal welfare for the animal. We do this by using the five domains model of animal welfare. Before a zookeeper gives their animals their BE item, there's a few things they have to think about. But the most important thing of all is the overall welfare and health of that animal. The items they give them must be safe for them, can't injure them, and if it's a food item, it has to be safe to eat for both them and any other animals they share their habitat with. The other thing to think about is if it suits their adaptations. And also, it's got to be a little challenging. Not too hard, not too easy, but just right. Good stuff, trainee keepers. You guys are doing really well today. Another really important part of being a zookeeper is talking about conservation. For black-handed spider monkeys in Central America, there just aren't as many as there used to be, and definitely not as many as there should be. And that's because of issues like deforestation. But don't worry, there are things that we can do, little actions that we can take at home right here down in Aotearoa that actually help black-handed spider monkeys to thrive in their home all the way over on the other side of the world. I'm about to do an audit of all the paper products in my house to see if they are sustainable or not. And for your final task, I'm inviting you to do the same. So go around your house and see how many paper, card or wood products you can find and check whether they either have this symbol or this symbol. These two logos tell us whether that product was sustainably sourced or not. You might find the logo on the front, underneath, or even on the back near the barcode. If you can't find either of these logos on your products, just have a think or have a good look next time you're at the grocery store for alternative brands that do have it. So get your clipboards out, it's time to start inspecting. Well, thank you for all your absolute hard work today. Patrick and PJ have said many marvellous things about you and we feel that one day you're going to make an amazing keeper here at Auckland Zoo. But make sure that you give yourself a pat on the back. Print
print off your certificate because you are officially trained up in all things spider monkeys. Now, part of being a trainee keeper means that we also have to pass messages on to the people around us. So make sure you share what you've learned today with your whanau, with people at school, or even back with us at Auckland Zoo. We would love to see the work that you have created, whether it is the habitat you've designed, the enrichment that you have made. It can even be talking to your parents about what toilet paper they should be buying and also making sure that you might tell your friends something cool about spider monkeys such as they have those four fingers so thank you so much for your hard work we look forward to having you back at Auckland Zoo hopefully we can train you up in another animal Kaki te. see you guys soon